Okay, I don't know who this cop is. I don't know what his name is. I don't know what department he operates out of, but I know one thing. He says a lot of things that are consistent with individual liberties. And before I play this, I want to thank Never Lose Truth and Tim Truth. Uh, they both hosted this on their channels, and I didn't want to just upload this video. I wanted to maybe cut in a couple times and talk about it. I didn't want to just mirror it, but let's let's go ahead and get started. I think you're going to like a lot of things that he says, but I got a lot of questions about what he says and how it conflicts with actually being a cop because the the role of a law enforcer is to enforce all laws, including the wicked and cruel laws, and most of them are wicked and cruel. So being a cop is inconsistent with individual liberties. Let's just take one, one law, the drug war law. If you're enforcing drug laws, you're doing that which is antithetical to true liberty. So I wonder where he stands on the drug laws. Let's listen to him. You know, as a police officer, I'm compelled to make this video. I've been in law enforcement for 10 years and I'm speaking to my peers, other fellow officers, people in any kind of law enforcement position. I've seen officers nationwide enforcing tyrannical orders against the people. And I'm hoping I'm hoping it's the minority of officers, but I'm not sure anymore. Cause I guarantee you it's not the minority of officers. Like I said, if anybody's enforcing any kind of drug law, they're doing that which is antithetical to true liberty, specifically antithetical to a person being secure and his person's houses, papers, and effects. If you have a plant, if you have plant matter that a politician says you couldn't have and a cop comes up and arrests you for it, he's violating your rights. And actually he has become the very criminal that he's saying you are for having drugs. Every time I turn on the television, every time I turn, I look to the internet, I'm seeing people arrested or cited for going to church for traveling on the roadways, for going surfing, opening their businesses, going to the park with their families, um, or doing nails out of their out of their own house, using their own house as a place of business, and having undercover agents go there and arrest them and charge them with with what? With a crime? I don't I don't know what crime people are committing by doing nails in their own house. But we're seeing this more and more and more. And uh, we need to start looking at ourselves as officers and thinking, is what I'm doing right? Now, I wanna remind you that regardless of where you stand on the coronavirus, we don't have the authority to do those things to people just because a mayor or a governor tells you otherwise. Guys, he, he could not be more right. See, he's talking like a moralist just doing what is right because a conformist does what they're told regardless of what is right. But a moralist does what is right regardless of what he's told. Uh, I don't care if it's your sergeant or your chief of police. We don't get to violate people's constitutional rights because somebody in our chain of command tells us otherwise. It's not. How in other words, don't be an order follower. How this country works. Um, those are de facto arrests, you know, we're violating people's rights and, and, and taking money from them or even worse, arresting them and depriving them of their freedom when they are exercising their constitutional rights. So let's, let's talk about that. Um, let's, let's read something right here off of the Declaration of Independence. All men are created equal. Among these, we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their power from the consent of the governed. Meaning, their, our power, and any government official's power is derived from the people. Okay? We don't hold power over our citizens that's it's it's contradictory to everything that our country stands for and and this is what i'm seeing first amendment rights telling people they can't go to church freedom of religion 
okay? Telling people they can't protest, freedom of assembly. Um, Fourth Amendment violations, illegal traffic stops to check for papers. What are you, the Gestapo? Is this 1930s Nazi Germany? You don't get to stop people unless you have reasonable suspicion or probable cause that they have committed a crime. That they have committed a crime. Remember, you have not committed a crime if you haven't left a real material victim. In other words, you haven't stolen somebody else's stuff. If you've stolen somebody else's stuff, you've committed a crime. If you've threatened or you've harmed somebody, then you've committed a crime. If you've damaged somebody's property against their will and without their consent, you've committed a crime. But if you haven't left a victim, there is no crime. No victim, no crime. And I know people that are have personally been stopped saying we want to see papers showing that you're essential David, you have a phone call. that is not how our job works okay what really has been pissing me off lately is the fact that these officers that are going out here and, and, and enforcing these tyrannical orders what they're doing is they're putting my job and my safety at risk because what you're doing is you're widening the gap between public trust and law enforcement officers. And, and what that's going to do is it's going to, I mean, look at, look at what's happened to law enforcement in the last 10 years, less and less public trust. And more often than not, that is a result of isolated incidents that get blown out of proportion. Well, they're not isolated anymore. They're happening every single day. And the thing that I want you guys to realize is that our power that, uh, that we hold as law enforcement officers, it's nothing more than a facade. It's a badge and a gun. And people, uh, you don't realize if you haven't lived in anarchy. I love that. It's a facade. We've been talking about this for years, guys. All this is, is a human being with a costume, a shiny badge, a gun, and the so-called authority of the state. It is a facade. That's exactly what it is. They're no less or more of a human being than you are. Badges and uniforms do not grant special rights. No matter how they act, they act like they have more rights, but they don't. It is all a facade. If you haven't seen combat, things can be stripped from people in a heartbeat. And, and that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that these actions are going to wake a sleeping giant, i.e. the American people, okay? They are going to be put in a position where they won't have their rights trampled anymore. And us as law enforcement officers, we'll, we'll have our ability to enforce the law stripped from us in about 10 minutes, okay? I, I don't, I think what is gonna happen if this continues is we're gonna see bloodshed in the streets. Okay? I don't want to see bloodshed in the streets on either side of this coin. I don't want to see fellow officers get injured or killed, and I certainly don't want to see citizens get injured or killed. And I promise you, most of you out there doing these, these, these tyrannical acts against our citizens, you're not ready for combat. You're not mentally or physically ready for combat in the first place. I promise you, you don't want to go through that, and I hope I never have to go through that again. Um, what I like about what this guy's saying so far is nothing that he has said is political. It's just human being to human being and doing that which is right versus doing that which is wrong. You know, you don't get to just say, well, I'm doing this because I was told to do so, or I'm following orders, or I need to keep this job. Guess what? I need to keep this job more than... Anybody. I have three young children. I have two houses. Like, I have the same sob story that the rest of you guys have. But my personal choices and my living arrangements, no matter what they are, don't allow me to trample on people's rights. And I don't understand why that concept is so hard for, for people to understand. Listen. It's because people are mired in the cement 
and the quicksand of cognitive dissonance. They're trying to hold two opposing ideas at the same time. Yeah, I'm for rights, but you know, there's this drug law and I gotta, I gotta follow orders. So they're holding both things at the same time and they're short circuiting. Their consciences have become seared. They've become less than humans when they take their fellow humans and drag them out of a car or, or put seven bullet holes in a Philando Castile or shoot a Daniel Shaver in the halls of the La Quinta Inn in Mesa, Arizona or beat a Kelly Thomas to death as he's pleading for his life or strangle an Eric Garner because he's selling cigarettes on a street corner. You need to stand up for what's right. You need to, if, if, you're, cha- if you're part of a department or an agency that is asking people or asking their officers or their deputies to impose on people's rights and infringe on their 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 freedoms you need to step up and say no that's not me that's not what i signed up for and that's going against my oath and if that costs you your job so be it at least you'll be able to look at yourself in the mirror at night i've already expressed this to my department and and luckily for me i come from a department that i feel like my chain of command shares my view but i don't care what department you're part of or what your chain of command thinks. You don't get to trample on people's liberty. And so, you know. That's, I can't, how could you even say it any better? If he truly means this, I wanna meet this guy and we need to duplicate him. As a special operations veteran, I've fought on the streets of Iraq for under the US government's guise of freedom. And I'm telling you what. This guy is clued in, man under the US government's guise of freedom. The American people are going to be, they are, you are gonna wake a sleeping giant and they are gonna fight 10 times harder for their freedom on their soil than anything you've ever seen before. And if that's something you're willing to face, then, then keep trampling on people's rights. But I promise you, the American spirit of defiance is going to rise again and it's gonna be a big problem for our country. So. I'll leave you with this, something that I learned as a, an E-nothing in the Army. No matter what situation you're put in, if you look inside yourself and ask yourself one question, am I doing the right thing? You ask yourself that, you know the answer. And no amount of money or no order or n- law or anything should be able to make you go against doing the right thing. So I'm imploring officers to look inside themselves and ask themselves, is this what I want to be doing to my citizens? And and I think the answer is clear. And if we all stand up together, guess what? It'll be a non-issue, no factor, because people and law enforcement will be united like we should be. And I just want to end with this. An injustice committed against one man anywhere is an injustice committed against all men everywhere. If, you, if anybody finds out who this guy is, as of the recording of this video, I don't know who he is. If you find out who he is, let me know. I'd like to get him on a live stream and talk to him, <laughs> buy him a beer, shake his hand, whatever. And I wanna find out, I wanna ask a couple more questions like, do you enforce the drug laws? You know, how, how, does, it, how does it work when you, uh, see somebody whose license is expired or they don't have insurance. I mean, do you, do you pull them over and find them and impound their car? So I'd really like to know guys, let me know what you thought about what this guy said in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.